Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you some best practices for using specific folders on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now I'm often asked what's the best way to organize files on your Mac and how should you or shouldn't you use certain folders on your Mac. So I want to give you some advice here. There are no folder police and you're not going to get in trouble for putting a file in a folder where maybe it shouldn't be. But if you're interested in knowing how other people use their Macs and how years of experience has taught me how to best use the folders on your Mac, well then let's begin. Let's start here in your User Home folder and look at the Downloads folder. In my Downloads folder you can see I've got absolutely nothing. Why? Well, because I use this to download things certainly. But as soon as it's downloaded I use the file or put it somewhere else. So for instance if it's a file I've downloaded to view then I view it and once I'm done doing that I delete it. Or if I download a file and I want to keep it I move it somewhere like my Documents folder into maybe a subfolder that helps me organize things. I don't leave things in my Downloads folder. A lot of people have their Downloads folder filled up with things like app installers or documents that just needed once but don't need again or documents they really should put in a better place. So the best way to use your Downloads folder is as a temporary storage space for files that you've downloaded from the web or maybe from emails and then you delete them or move them somewhere else as soon as you get the chance. Now likewise there's the Trash folder. I'll get to it by going into the dock here and clicking on Trash and you can see my trash here is empty but as I move files to the trash they all move in here. Now the only way a file should end up in the trash is if you intend to delete it. I see a lot of people that use their trash as a temporary space for them to review files later for deletion or even worse to just get files out of the way if they don't even intend to delete them. The best practices rule is for the trash that you should only put something in the trash if you absolutely intend to delete it. Trash is meant to be a safety net. It's one extra step before the file is gone. It's not meant to be a place for you to review files for later on. As a matter of fact if you go to Finder, Settings and then go to Advanced there's an option here to remove items from the trash after 30 days. Not only does this help keep your trash clean so you don't have to remember to empty the trash every once in a while but by having this turned on it changes your mindset into thinking that once you put something in the trash it's at danger of being deleted pretty soon so you should never put anything in the trash unless you intend to get rid of it. Now the next folder I want to talk about is the Desktop. and The Desktop has a special property where it's not just a normal folder. Items that you put in the Desktop folder will also appear here on your Desktop as icons. So my Desktop you notice is empty but let's pretend that it's full. So here you can see I've got a bunch of stuff on my Desktop. This creates clutter and you may be fine with that but clutter is the enemy of productivity. Having less clutter will make you more productive whether or not you seem to mind the clutter or not. Now I mentioned how the Desktop is a special folder. If I actually create a new Finder window here and then go to my Desktop folder I'm going to see exactly the same files here as I see here. It's just one place. It's just two different ways of viewing the same files in the same location. Now if you have a cluttered Desktop don't feel too bad because a lot of people do. In fact so many people do that Apple's even introduced special features to take care of it. If you click on the Desktop here and then go to View you can use Stacks and this will help organize your Desktop. So that's a whole special feature just for cleaning up a messy Desktop. But it doesn't change the fact that there's still a bunch of files there. So how is my Desktop normally empty? Well I simply almost never put any files there. I have an empty Desktop because I store all my files in my Documents folder. This is where I create subfolders and organize everything. So instead of having two different places to look for things, Documents and Desktop, I just have one. It's much simpler. And since you could organize your Documents folder any way you want with all sorts of folders and subfolders then you might as well have everything in one root place, your Documents folder. Now I do sometimes use my Desktop folder for a very specific purpose and that's to place a new file when I simply don't have time to organize things. Like for instance say I get a great idea and I want to write it down immediately. I want to start a Pages document and get going. I don't want to pause and go into my Documents folder and create a new folder, perhaps in a subfolder, give it a name and put the file in there. I just want to get going with this new idea. Then I will save the file to my Desktop but it's only temporary. 
maybe 5 minutes or 5 hours later I'll find the time to organize that file properly in my Documents folder. And the result is I get a clean desktop folder like this and if there is a file there that means it's a new pretty important file that I should probably take the time really soon to find a good location for. Now another folder people used to use wrong is the top level folder. If I use Go and go to the computer level and then to the hard drive, here's my top hard drive level. And it used to be people would stick things here at the top level and use that as a temporary storage space or maybe permanent storage. Mac OS isn't going to let you do that anymore. It's going to want you to put everything in your Users folder inside your Home folder. But you can make the same mistake here. You probably shouldn't place anything here at the top level of your Users folder. Always go down into an appropriate folder. Now I'm using iCloud Drive here so I don't see my Documents folder here. But I do see other folders I could use like Movies for Final Cut and iMovie projects, my Music and Pictures folders maybe if I want to save collections of audio or images. But otherwise I treat my Documents folder, that's the top level of everything. All of my data is in here. And I still try to avoid putting anything here at the top level. Everything goes into a folder inside the Documents folder so it's well organized. Now the same is kind of true of iCloud Drive. There's a top level of iCloud Drive and every once in a while you might be tempted to just place a file there. Especially when you're creating the file on the iPhone or iPad and it's easy to just do that in the Files app. But in general you should look at the Documents folder in here and place things in there. Now even if you're not using iCloud Drive at Desktop and Documents you can still have a Documents folder here. Matter of fact you probably do simply because maybe an iPhone or iPad is using the Documents folder here. It's perfectly okay to have a Documents folder in iCloud Drive, not use Desktop and Documents, and then have a Documents folder in your Home folder as well. That would just be local files, not in iCloud Drive. Although I think you're missing out one of the best features of the entire Apple ecosystem if you're not putting your Documents folder in iCloud Drive so all of your documents can be seen on all of your devices. Now in iCloud Drive you're probably going to find folders here that have the names of applications like Pages, Numbers, and Keynote and maybe some third party applications as well. A lot of apps will use a special iCloud Drive folder specifically for that app as the default location to save things. As a matter of fact when iCloud first appeared on the iPhone and iPad this was done because there was no general file storage. So Pages documents were always stored in a special Pages container in iCloud. But today you don't really need these. I would highly recommend when you create a new Pages file don't store it in iCloud Drive Pages. Store it in iCloud Drive Documents inside of a subfolder that is named so you can organize things to your liking. Now probably here on the left side you'll see an item called Recents. If I go into Finder Settings I can re-enable Recents here so I can see what you probably see. And this is a place that people commonly misuse. And that's because it's really not a folder. It doesn't really exist. Recents is an illusion. This is a list of your most recent files. These files aren't in a folder called Recents. If I select one and then go to View and then Show Path Bar I could see where it really is. This is an iCloud Drive. This one is in Movies. This one is Documents Projects. This one Documents Other. So Recents is like doing a search. It's asking your Mac show me my most recent files. You don't put things in Recents. They appear there as the result of this query of what are your most recent files. So never say something is in Recents. Nothing's ever in Recents. Recents is just another way to look at your files. Now here's another place that sometimes people misuse. It's not really a folder but it's an external drive. Your Time Machine Drive. So here's my Time Machine Drive and there are a whole bunch of backups here. And sometimes people will think, hey, I bought this nice big drive. I'd like to store this big file, get it off of my Mac's internal drive. I'll just add it to the Time Machine Drive and they'll drag and drop something onto their Time Machine Drive. Don't do that. That just makes it harder for Time Machine to manage the space on the drive. As the drive gets full it has to get rid of older versions of files in order to make more space. But if you're sticking your own files there then it's going to be very difficult for it to judge how much space is available or will be available soon. So just leave your Time Machine drive alone. Let it do its own thing and don't try to use it for anything else. Now my last item isn't a specific folder but a way that almost all folders could be misused. And that is to put an application in it. I still see this from time to time. Someone will download an application from the Internet 
and then it asks them to drag that application to the Applications folder or maybe it doesn't even say that. It's just there and you can run it. And you put that file in your Documents folder or in your Home folder or in some other folder somewhere. Put all apps in the Applications folder. You actually have two choices. You've got your Main Applications folder which you can get to by using Go and then Applications and this is system wide. All these apps are available to every user account on your Mac. But you also can go to your Home folder and sometimes you'll find an Applications folder there. And that's okay to use too. Just any app you put in there is going to be only available to that one user. So in this case the user on this machine called MacMost. But I have my regular user account where I actually do all my work and anything in the Applications folder in MacMost wouldn't be available to that regular user account. But the important thing is to use your Applications folder for apps. Don't try to put apps in your Documents folder or in other folders. So I hope this helps you use the folders on your Mac in a better way. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the Thumbs Up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.